you know, I was just talking a moment ago about Obama being in French Tahiti and our extradition right. uh, agreement with France that says that extradition uh, shall not be granted by France to the United States when an offense for that extradition is requested, when it's considered by France. So in other words, they've got some, you know, some subjective leeway there. It's considered by France as a political offense or as an offense connected with a political offense or as an offense inspired by political motives. In other words, I suppose a, 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 an, an American politician can do almost anything they want, and if they can get away with it during their term and leave and go to France or Tahiti or any possession of France, they're pretty much protected the rest of their life, is what it sounds like. It does. You know, um, there's a lot going on here. And that's fact, where Obama uh, is right now. That's where he is. There's a lot going on here. People may not be aware that uh, there are there are certain um, uh, uh, legal officials actually trying right now to serve Obama with papers because Obama is being sued by by um, by lawyers, including none other than Larry Clayman, friend of yours, friend of Arpaio's, uh, the man responsible for the Dennis Montgomery uh, information. Uh, Larry Clayman has been trying to mention uh, to uh, serve Barack Obama. He sent a server to Obama's mansion to find no Obama because Obama's hiding out in Tahiti, which is part of French Polynesia. And and you uh, accurately quoted the um, the extradition treaty that America has with France. France is under no obligation to extradite people if they're being uh, accused of political crimes, which is what Obama's being accused yeah. of. So here we have Larry Clayman. He is actually trying to serve the former president with papers to appear before a court, and Obama's nowhere to be found because he's jet, he's, he's jet skiing behind uh, behind uh, yachts in the, the French Polynesia. You know, he's, he's, worth, he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, Barack Obama. He can do this, no problem, live out the rest of his life in luxury, snubbing his nose at the legal system in America, trying to bring him and his people to justice. And um, so then Barry Satoro of the, Barry, Barry, the now famous Barry Satoro YouTube channel, uh, he's a friend of the PNN Network, and um, he has exposed all of this with pictures, etc., that's uh, the Barry Satoro YouTube channel. And then it was almost immediately picked up by Alex Jones, who was uh, interviewing a guy named Cernovich on the Alex Jones show, uh, and, and who uh, Alex Jones actually saying uh, that the Obama, the entire Obama family is fake. The kids are not his. This is what uh, Jones is saying today. Cernovich is actually agreeing with Alex Jones on this that uh, the, the entire Obama family is a fake family, and those children are not his. Now, I'm not willing to say that with absolute certainty, but uh, there's a lot going on here. Claim is trying to serve him with papers. Obama's hiding out in French Polynesia, which is a, a, a French territory, and he will be protected by the French government. Um, so you are not saying, and I am not saying, you were merely reporting, that the entire Obama family is fake. Now, I have never said that. You have never said that. Right. But, but right. let me go ahead and say that you can, I, you, people can go to YouTube. They can go on the Internet. They can find the reports that other people have done, the video reports, etc. You can look at the pictures. You can look at who people are, are saying that the real parents of the two girls are. When you look at those girls and you look at these two people who are very, very, very dear friends of Barack and Michelle Obama, these two girls look just like the people, you know, that are their best friends, and they show them and compare them to, to the little one, to the mother, uh, to to the to the wife, the, the 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 older daughter, to the to the husband of the of that couple. It's it's pretty astounding. But but you know, I mean, I I've never had a reason to dig into that or to really immerse myself right. in that, and so I haven't. I just looked at the reports and said, wow, that's <laughs> that's some pretty freaky looking stuff. So we have you know we have said that 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 people are reporting on it. But I just I want to make that clear. Right, and but here's here's the here's my my take on all this. I mean, I'm not saying that the family is fake either. I'm not saying these two young ladies are not his children or not their children. People out there believe that they know who the real parents are, and that the woman who supposedly uh, was at their birth, that the 
the, the doctor who supposedly gave birth to these children is the actual real mother of these children. Yeah. There's so much speculation going on out there. You mentioned Sandy Hook. There are certain knowables here. We do know that the Obama birth certificate that was up on the website is a fraudulent document. Right. We know that Barack Obama has been using a, a, a social security number from a dead man who, who uh, reportedly lived in Newtown, Connecticut. I mean, these are certain knowables that we have going on here. We know his what Selective Service identification card was manipulated. We know that from the Sheriff Arpaio Mike Zulo investigation. They came up with the evidence for that. Go ahead. Right. And would it surprise anybody to find out that his children are not his children? Would that surprise anybody? At the, it wouldn't surprise me yeah. if, if, the entire, well, if the entire Obama family is just one made-up, a, a jumble of people put together to to create a fake family, perhaps the CIA doing so. I mean, and, uh, and then you know, yeah, and then add into the mix, Mike, the what we now know about the mainstream media being absolute in the tank propaganda, fake news. So you know, people could say, yeah, but you know, CNN looked into this years ago, and there was no. Wait a minute, that doesn't prove anything to me. CNN is is a laughing stock of news now. I mean, they're, they're at the bottom of the rung as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, go ahead. Well, I've, I'm going to be interviewing a researcher here in the next few days who's been doing a lot of research on, on, this, on all of these topics. And um, it's just amazing what this person has come up with. And, and, and I did a pre-interview interview on the phone with this person. And it's just shocking what this person has come up with. I think you're going to be even be surprised by some of this stuff, uh, the Bill Ayers connections and all this. Mm -hmm. But... Um, <clears throat> Bill Ayers, Hollywood, all of this is about to be exposed on PNN Radio, by the way. This researcher has done an amazing job. And when I was finished with the pre-interview interview on the, on the radio, I said, or on the phone, I said, you know, what, you know what's most amazing about this is that we're still having this conversation about this former president of the United States. We still don't know anything about him. We're, we're still speculating. People are, are contacting me saying, you need to look at his connections to Topeka, Kansas. And uh, you need to look at his uh, – the, the shocking thing to me is we have still – we still have not nailed down where this man was born and where he's from. We still don't know anything about him. One thing he we do know, you know, and you just said, he spent millions of dollars sealing his identification record. And the one record he did post on the White House website, we know for a fact, signed off on by two international di document expert examining entities, one in Hawaii, the other one in Italy, signed off on that the information that Sheriff Arpaio and Mike Zulo supplied was absolutely spot on, that it was a manufactured document from another document which they possessed the birth certificate of Johanna Ani Zulu and Arpaio possessed that document they they have they own that document and 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 it has been examined forensically by two different international corporate companies who have said yes the Obama birth certificate was fabricated. It was built on a template using at least the Johanna Ani document and maybe others to make this fake document. That's the other thing we know. But other than that, we don't know anything about this dude. And so that, that whole thing really does establish the credibility of the, of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office cold case posse investigation and all this. It, I mean, now everybody is reporting on the NSA spying, which is revealed during the investigation into Barack Obama's birth certificate. So there's only a partial reporting on this now. Everybody's reporting on the spying. Why are they ignoring the, the background investigation into the spying, which led to the revelation of all this spying, was in fact investigating Obama's credentials? Right. Why, why is all of that being ignored? That's called what we call media malpractice, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, let's, let's, let's investigate the rape, but not the rapist. I mean, come on, let's, let's get down to the bottom of all of this. And, and perhaps Obama's running scared. He knows that the wolves are at his heels. And all of this is about to blow up, perhaps, because now we know Trump is looking into the NSA spying being direct, directed by Obama and his people. He may be looking, he may be shopping for property in Tahiti is what I'm saying, yeah. because he wants to, I mean, at the end of the day, if it looks like things are too hot to come home, listen, I've got $200 million in my bank account. I can live comfortably here uh, on, the, on the white sands of Tahiti. Uh, it's over for the Obamas. 
it's over. We're just going to yeah. stay the rest of our life. It, and we're going to hang out with Roman Polanski, the rapist. Yeah, it would be really cool if they could shut down his bank accounts and seize his money. And, hey, uh, yeah, now you're talking. Yeah, but you never know. I mean, George Soros of financing. But, you know, listen, you and I are just, we're just having fun and speculating here because he is in a place where he cannot be extradited. And that seems awfully exactly. coincidental considering what's going on back home, what's going on in Washington, D.C., what's going on around the world, the accusations that are being made by top people. And then he's in a place where he can't be extradited and you're not hearing anything out of him where he was right. flapping those jaws continually until all of this came down. So it's going to be interesting. Like I said, he could show back up in Washington tomorrow, and then all right. of this that we're talking about today will become a moot point. We admit that that could happen. But it's also interesting right. to keep our eyes on this, because if he stays there for weeks and weeks or months and months or years and years, that probably, you know, if it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, etc. And so that's where we are. Hey, Mike, let's take a time out.